What a beautiful day. So let me start this off by saying two new things. I got a new helmet right here. See, I got the Shoei RF 1200 or the Shoei, whatever you want to call it. And I've also changed my exhaust again. And I put this Delkovic one on. I'm going to start it up right now. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. And I personally like it a lot better. It's deeper and it's loud. And this is probably the tone that I've been looking for. So here it goes. This is a cold start. Keep that in mind. There's that deep grumble to it now. I can actually feel... I can feel it in my heart where, you know, it's like, it's like when uh, you're listening to something with a lot of bass. It makes your heart pump. And I just installed this yesterday, so I haven't actually ridden and seen how loud it can get. But I assume this is going to be a really nice sound. Here we go. love that sound that is what I've been looking for okay so let me give you a little bit of background about this exhaust it is a Delkovic exhaust and by the way Delkovic good job for making really great exhausts on the other hand when I bought it they gave me the wrong pipe for my bike so the diameters were all off the tips were wrong and I basically had to use my old Hindle exhaust the one I had when I first bought the bike and I had to cut up that pipe and uh, that's where I put my Delkovic exhaust on. I put it on that pipe. I guess I like the outcome more now because now I have a shorty exhaust as opposed to having one that protrudes somewhere closer towards the license plate bracket. I can also feel a difference in acceleration and performance. To be honest, I took my bike on the dyno and uh, the score was lower than I had thought. And then I realized, you know, I, I have everything fixed on the bike. I fixed it all myself. And there's no way the score could be that low. So immediately I knew it was my, my RLS Chaos Exhaust. You know, it's just a straight pipe, a, a flex pipe. And yeah, it's got a great sound. It's really loud. People really like it. But performance wise, it's just not, it's not good. I also got the RF 1200. You can see it right here. It's a freaking awesome helmet. Definitely a huge step up from my Icon Armada. I don't know, I was just so fixated on getting Icon products back then that, I don't know, I guess I was kind of blinded. I should have I should have got it in this helmet to begin with. You know, I posted all of this stuff on my Instagram stories about my new exhaust, my new helmet. So, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to get a, the first scoop of what I'm doing, then usually I post it on there. Going back to this helmet, setting up the Senna and the GoPro was so tedious. The Icon Armada was way, way more friendly when it came to routing the wires, but this one was this one was hard. But it's definitely got a cleaner setup than what I had before. I don't know if you could see it. I'll, I'll turn my head a little bit. But right down here, I had to make it so I had to add more double-sided tape just so that it would line up flush against the chin because the chin has this uh, this curve to it, or this not not a curve, but you know, it's like a sharp edge. It's not even a sharp edge either, but you know, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but yeah, I had to do that, and that in itself was kind of, I don't know, it's kind of tedious. Let's give this guy a fist bump for being out on the road. What's up, man? Nice bike. <laughs> ZX6R Brothers right here. Brother, my brother. I believe this is like a 2009. This is a uh, this is a bike that I want. It's on my list too. It's great to see other riders that are still riding. Most of the people that I know are already uninsured. I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like when it's warm. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, the pipe that's right here just before the exhaust itself, I had to cut it. I used a hacksaw just to cut the pipe, but now it's a shorty exhaust, which I prefer. I definitely like the look of this better, it's cleaner. Normally the exhaust would have been hanging around here, and yeah, you know me, I love my short exhaust. So this is what it sounds like. I 
I made a whole video dedicated to a new exhaust and I was like, you know what? I am not doing that again. That's uh, that's kind of boring. So I can just show you guys real quick while I ride and talk around. I just want to give you all a little bit of background about how I upload my videos. They're never really in chronological order. Sometimes I prioritize videos depending on what happens in them and how interesting I find them. Obviously, I don't want to post videos that are uninteresting for me, personally. I don't want to post them like three times in a row, right? So I want to have that balance. Because honestly, I'm not happy with all the videos that I post up. Sometimes I post a video and I'm just like, shit, I'm not really happy with this one, but I gotta get something out there. And it's not like I'm settling for, you know, crappy videos. It's just, you know, what, what I have on hand. I mean, they're decent, but they're just not up to my standards all the time. That being said, I am probably going to upload this video before a few more videos. There will be definitely a chance that the next videos will be showing my old exhaust still. Like I was talking about how my bike was on the, on the dyno. I got a video of that and that's going to be on my next, next vlog or next vlog. I don't even know. Vlogs where I'm interacting with other people or there's people talking to other people. You already know me. I love captioning things. I want to make sure you guys understand what's going on. So those vlogs. They are the hardest to edit. They take the longest, but this vlog where I'm just talking to myself, super easy. Don't really need to edit anything uh, other than cutting the clips, make sure there's no long awkward pauses in between what I'm saying. And yeah, that's um, a little background about how I edit my vlogs and how I upload them. Now to get to the main point of the reason I uploaded this vlog before my other ones. I really wanted to try to interact with you guys on a more personal level. And it's been a little hard. I told myself I would do a question and answer video for you, but it's gotten a little bit out of hand with the questions that I, I can't really track down what uh, what all the questions are and which ones I should be answering on YouTube itself or if I should be answering them on video. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start using Snapchat now and I want you all to add me, Stan the Mona Man, just the way it's spelled on my YouTube channel. And I want you to send me anything. Send me a video, send me a, a text, or a picture, whatever you want to. And I will open it up live on camera. And I will answer any question that comes up. And I'll also show what you guys are sending me. So don't send me anything too inappropriate. Don't send me like a dick pic or something. Actually, I mean, you, fuck, you could, I guess, but I don't want to see it. And yeah, I thought that would be pretty cool to do. It's not like I'm gonna make it into a moto vlog or anything. It's just a little side video, just for fun. Anyway, yeah, add me on Snapchat, Stan the Moto Man. Send me whatever you want, and I will open it on video sometime within the week. Now that we got everything out of the way, I just want to give you all another thanks from the bottom of my heart for reaching 30,000 subscribers. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.